So in this video, I want to show you how to do an edge blend with Resolume. So for this, I'm using a screen with two projectors. Uh, so I've got a video output with a camera on the screen here. It's a nine meter by three meter screen. And I've got two projectors lined up with an overlap on them. So you can see the overlap in the middle there where it's brighter. And so in Resolume, I want to start by creating a composition size that roughly represents that. So nine meters by three meters, I change my composition size and I can divide that by three and make that 3000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Now there are a lot of better ways to calculate this, especially if you're working with complex screens, you wanna try and get something as close to a pixel space as you can. Uh, but I know I can kind of deal with this because they're 1200 pixels high, these projectors. And so I know this is pretty close within those dimensions with the overshoot and stuff as the projectors are shooting over the screens a little bit. So, 3,000 by 1,000, so that's, so that's what I work with. I've got a test pattern running here, and if I go to the advanced output, I can see my slices. And so my first screen, I'll choose my first display, and I'll add another display, so another screen. I'll send that to display three. So if we look at both in there, we can see I'm sending both patterns to both those screens right now. I'll turn off screen two for the moment, so I can see we're just working in screen one. I want to take that whole output area, so I'll go whole area. So if looking at Resolume, I just take this to the whole area for now. And then in the input selection, I want to match that, so match output shape, and I'll just scale it down, so I'm just within the composition. And I'll do the same for the second screen. So output, I want to cover the whole area, so so the whole area, and then on the input, I'll match that shape, match output shape. So now we know we're sending the right pixels to those screens. And so now looking at, I want to send, if I look at the projectors, both of them I can see that screen two is over on the right hand side and screen one is on the left hand side. And already you can see we've got the edge blend happening in the middle there. So with the test pattern, we can see that middle line is not quite lining up. So in Resolume, first of all, on, this, on Slice 1, I'm going to turn on Soft Edge and Soft Edge on both of those. Now Resolume knows by the overlap, looking at this, it can see where those slices are overlapping and it's calculating already for me an edge blend there. So looking at that slice, I can see it's fading out from the left to the right, and for the left-hand side, from the right to the left. So if I look at both again, so we've got a bit of a blend there happening already, and now it comes time to tweak in the output to get that exactly right. So we want to, we don't want to mess with the input shape, the input's right. That's where we want to select our video from, it's the output. And I want to just edit points mode to adjust those individually. So looking at both screens, so you can now move those around until they match up. So I can move, just work on the left hand side at the moment and get it rough to where I want it to be and then switch over to the right hand side screen and do the same thing. Just keep moving it around. And the bottom one, pull it right down, that's a quick edge blend there. So I'll just tweak the other sides so if we get the, the outside corners straight as well. So we've got a bit of perspective, so a bit of key turning kind of going on there. I'll fix those up on both those, just on the outsides, just to make sure we're filling that whole screen square and I can come back into the middle and just tweak that again roughly and there you go so the resume can do a quick edge blend now switching between those two slices you can see where that that overlap is happening if I adjust it here you can see it starts to pull them apart but that's that's exactly what I want it to be and we do have some controls here. So if you need to do some gamma adjustment, 
and do an overall gamma adjustment to try and fade that that dark spot there out a bit. So we do have a bit of a dark spot going on on one side. The power, but Resum does a pretty good job of doing most of the work for you. They haven't made too many adjustments to get that blending just right. But you've got plenty of tools here just to tweak it. And there we go. That's a quick edge blend using Resolume with the edge blend tools.